Some of you don't understand the female gaze. But first we need to address a common misconception, and we have to define what is male gaze. For some weird reason, a lot of people seem to think that any sort of facial hair, having a good muscular base and not having a TikTok hairstyle makes you male gazed. This couldn't be further from the truth. Male gaze is when an individual builds so much muscle while being shredded like a professional bodybuilder. And nobody gets to this types of physiques by mistake. Even on PEDs, vast majority of you wouldn't reach a muscular size like this. Another form of male gaze in terms of body would be if you decide to stay at a higher body fat to hold on to more muscle sacrificing leanness. This does not mean that you should always stay lean and be afraid of letting your abdominal muscles fade a little bit temporarily. Remember building an aesthetic lean physique is a two step process. First you bulk up and build the size and then you lean down. Now we need to define what female gaze is. The female gaze is what women respond to in men, not what we as men think women respond to. There is a range of physiques that women seem to respond the most to, and that is the lean aesthetic physiques. Commonly found in fitness models, athletes, actors, and internet influencers. On the screen right now, I've made a chart showcasing all the different types of physiques and how they fare in terms of the male versus female gaze spectrum. Now, this range of physiques is quite wide, and this is the reason why within our community there will be plenty of disagreements. A lot of people fall in the crowd that thinks that you only need to be lean and have a six-pack, and this is partly true, especially when you are a teenager. As soon as you are entering the late teenager years and more importantly, when you get into your 20s, having a lean muscular physique will always increase your attractiveness. No matter who you are, time and time again, science shows you that women are attracted to a V-shaped torso on men. It has the same effect as men being attracted to an hourglass figure on women. The V body shape means having broader shoulders that taper down to a slimmer waist. An archives of sexual behavior study reveals that women are most attracted to muscular men whose shoulders may measure 1.6 times the size of their waists. In order for you to actually be sexually attractive to the female gaze you always requires to have a muscular and lean body, the degree of muscularity is what varies depending on the particular demographics and even geolocation. In general, you tend to get away with having less muscular size when you are younger, and the requirement seems to increase as you get older. You can observe this in the media. Whether it's in movies or social media, you see that most of the guys that women are lusting for usually have very good bodies. What you will notice is that as the women go from being teenagers to young adults, and then when they start to approach the late 20s to early 30s, they prefer slightly more muscle size. Obviously, this is a very big generalization, and there will be exceptions to the rule. As women leave their teenage years and get into their 20s, they start to prefer men who display traits of higher testosterone because that leads to higher sex appeal and dimorphism. It is perfectly possible for a guy to be more sexually attractive than other guy while having lower facial aesthetics. A perfect example of this would be someone like Nick Bateman and Sean O'Pry. Sean O'Pry has higher facial aesthetics, but Nick Bateman has higher sex appeal, and a bigger number of women are more likely to be into Nick compared to Sean O'Pry. And once again, women may say that they like dad bods, or that just being lean with abs is all that you need. But if you do a quick search on YouTube, you will find that women cannot help themselves when they see a man who has built a good enough amount of muscle combined with leanness. Wow, you are hot. Here, I don't know how to call this. Uh, shoulder. Yeah, you're right. Gotta hide the gains, you know. <sighs> hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Are we saying no? Nine. So now we're at. One thing we have to address is the term pretty boy maxing. And this is where. A lot of guys in our community think that this is the only way to appeal to the female gaze, and it isn't true. Pretty boy maxing is fundamentally rocking a clean shaven look and going for a trendy TikTok hairstyle. And this has its highest appeal for the teenager demographics. And this is also not antagonistic to increasing sex appeal simultaneously, but not every guy will look the best being clean shaven or having a TikTok hairstyle. The truth is, 
There are various ways of appealing to the female gaze, and for this reason, you must be able to identify your strengths, your weaknesses, and identify your phenotype and look smacks towards that, and never try to be something that you are not. If you need help with your look smacks plan, you can order a rating from me. To access it, go to my YouTube channel page and click on this link. There are also hyper-masculine men who still appeal to the female gaze contrary to popular belief. Examples like Jason Momoa or Roman Reigns are good examples of men who display traits of very high dimorphism. They are tall, have a lot of muscle mass, they have the full beard look, and their faces are very masculine. The long hair adds a lot of contrast to their appearance, balancing the masculine with the feminine. And this is why it appeals a lot to the female gaze. Oh my gosh, Roman, Roman, Roman. Oh my gosh, Roman, Roman, Roman. That man is so beautiful. His face, his eyes, his hair. I swear to God, I got wet. I swear to God, I got wet. On the screen, you can see various examples of good-looking people from a lot of ethnicities and age groups. I also post examples of what women are responding to the most on dating apps such as Tinder, as this is the closest thing of a real answer you can get on this topic. At the end of the day, what matters is that you guys increase your base attractiveness and not get caught into these labels that sometimes let you stop from improving one of the core fundamentals just because you think it doesn't appeal to X, Y, and Z. Things such as developing muscle, improving your skin texture and smoothness, improving your teeth, fixing any major flaws like a big nose, a recessed jaw or a receding hairline, taking care of your grooming, whether it's facial hair, eyebrows or your hair and being low body fat is ultimately what will make you more attractive. Trends and styles come and go. That's it for today. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe. And if you are new to the channel, I suggest you watch these two videos to further increase your knowledge and looks maxing.